Welcome to the Godox Photography Lighting Academy. I'm Sarah Edmonds and in this episode we'll be looking at ways to add impact to images using Godox lighting and in particular the AD300 Pro. With 300 watt seconds of power and a rechargeable lithium battery that's interchangeable with the AD200 and AD200 Pro, this powerhouse can provide up to 320 full power flashes on a single charge. It's just what we need for the fashion-inspired portrait session we'll be shooting today. I'll be controlling the AD300 Pro with my X-Pro trigger on camera, and with the same trigger, I can control up to four lights independently. And in fact, I'll be starting off with one light, moving on to two lights, and ending with a four-light setup. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Godox channel for more tutorials to come, and wait to the end for an incredible product giveaway. For our first shot, I want a clean, crisp fashion look, and very often the most striking shots are the simplest in terms of setup. I wanted to add interest and impact using a hard shadow against a plain white wall. To achieve this, I used a single AD300 Pro with no modifier, simply the standard reflector that comes with the unit. The smaller the light source, the harder the shadow, and casting a hard shadow shape is exactly what I wanted. The farther away the light source, the smaller it gets in relation to the subject and therefore the harder and crisper the shadow becomes. With a black and white theme, my focus was on creating pleasing shapes with the model's pose. The light on the model is bright and clean. This is a simple setup for a very popular fashion look you'll see again and again in magazines and advertising. Adding an unusual accessory such as a headpiece will cast even more interesting shadow shapes. For a bit of variation, fun and colour, you can literally colour in the shadow cast using gels. In this instance I added a gel to the AD100 Pro used as a secondary light source pointed at the wall where the shadow would fall. The colour cast tends to be richer in the shadows and this results in the bright colour saturating the shadows and leaving the rest of the wall white. For setup 2 my focus is on colour harmonies. Between the backdrop and outfit colour we have a split complementary colour scheme. Because of the importance of the colour in these images, I decided to soften the light and allow the colour scheme to take centre stage with a 120cm diffused umbrella placed camera left, feathered across the front of the model and bouncing off a white V-flat camera right. This creates a sort of shaft of light that passes softly in front of the model and deepens the background as very little light is hitting it. An AD100 Pro was placed in a gridded strip softbox behind the model, directly across from the key light, to provide some added rim light. For the standing segment, I raised the softbox higher, added a grid and pointed it downwards in front of the model. The sharper angle deepens the shadows cast and looks more sculptural on the model's face and body. Now the key light is also hitting the background slightly as well as the subject.
Setup 3 is all about saturated colour, fun and movement. The AD300 Pro goes into the quick release 65cm softbox. Its smaller size and focused shape gives more contrast than the previous look, and I emphasise this by placing black V-flats on either side of the model to prevent light bouncing off the white walls. I place an AD100 Pro with a red gel and diffusion dome onto the red seamless backdrop. This provides a saturated red glow from behind her, and the effect is fiery and glamorous. Our final setup is all about mood, drama and dimension. I do this by carving out the subject shape using light. I'm using the super flexible 65cm quick release softbox again, but this time as a beauty dish with the reflector internal attachment, no diffusion and a grid to focus the light onto the model with minimal light spill. An AD100 Pro with snoot attachment is lighting the backdrop behind the model. Two AD200s in gridded strip boxes either side of her provide a subtle rim light. The AD100 Pro with snoot lighting the cloud background gives the impression of light bursting through the clouds behind her. The perfectly symmetrical pose is enhanced by the symmetry of the lighting. As you can see, each one of the four lights used in this setup is essential to the shot. I hope some of the techniques we use during our shoot today will inspire you to create using the AD300 Pro. Godox offers a one-stop solution for all your photography needs, from lights to stands to modifiers and more. You can subscribe, I'm Sarah Edmonds, and we'll see you next time. Until then, keep creating with light.